Welcome to Max MSP Basics. This is a quick look at how to make a music loader so you can start bringing in sounds from outside of Max and using MSP objects to control it. So what we're over here is a simple drop zone where we can bring in a folder of files, a menu that will populate with the files contained, and when we select them, they'll start to play. We can choose whether it loops or not. And we can control the speed it plays at as well. We have manual control over whether we pick a track. And we also have a visualization. So we have control over the gain and a visualization of the volume. And then we have ultimate to control to disable audio processing inside. And it's all done with this simple patch here. So I'll stop that completely and we'll have a look at how we make that. So first thing we do, we're going to do is we're going to get our max window. And all of our work is going to operate around the SF play tilde object. And at the end of it, I'm going to put a number two because we want to make sure that our play object can handle stereo. And that'll give us a second output at the bottom here, one for the left channel and one for the right. If we look at the help file, we can see all we need to operate a play, an SF play, is an open and a toggle. And then all these other stuff are a surplus to requirement. So, I'm going to push M for message and I'm going to type in open. And then below, I'm going to add a gain and a meter just so we can start seeing things. I'm going to change this so it's the exact same size and shape as my gain just because I like it to be neat like that. I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to duplicate them. I'm going to put the slider value from one gain into the other, so when I control the left, I also control the right output. And it just means that our, our volume is always on the same if we use this as a master. I'm then going to put the scaled output of each into the meter next to it, which will give us a nice visualization. And both of them are going to plug into an easy DAC with their values. It uh, must be eliminated for MSP processing to occur. And what that's saying is that if this isn't turned on, there'll be no sound coming out at all. These wires, coloured like this, won't pass any signals. We add our toggle, just as the demo said. And as simple as that, we should have a file that can play music. Turn it on, and there we go. We're visualising. Visualising the music, and it's playing, and we can stop it. The only problem is, is when I turn it on again to play, it has to start from the beginning. We've not paused it, we've physically stopped it. We can get around this by using the pause and resume messages. So much like open, we pass this message and it'll do exactly that. It'll pause and resume exactly from where we were. And we can open again and change our track, but it's not started playing, even though our toggle is on. And that's because the way the toggle works is actually sending a one or a zero. And after we've told SF Play we're changing its file, we've not told it one again, because this is always still being constant. So I'm going to get rid of our toggle and add a one and zero differently. So now I can pick a song and play it. But using this menu isn't really handy, especially if I'm using a big list of files like this. I don't want to have to go in and select each of them every time. And I also don't want to have to push the button. What we're going to do is make use of a drop file which literally allows us to drag and drop files and it will read their directory path and automatically output it for us. And we can make use of a linked item called a U menu, so that when I drag in a folder, nothing happens. It's saying that U menu doesn't understand the directory. What we need to do, so U menu can 
understand it is add something called a prepend, which adds it to the front of an incoming message, and prefix. I'm also going to select this. I'm going to control click its output. And we can see all the attributes it can possibly have. So we just added prefix, but we're also going to add auto populate and make sure that's checked so that this list automatically fills up with items every single time that it's changed. So now if I bring in my folder, it will fill up with items and we're ready to go. But how do we get our item from here into SF Play? Well, almost the exact same way as when we used open. One of the outputs it can do is you many item evaluated as message. So it will send out exactly the path of where the item's located. All we need to do is tell it to open it again. But this time we're going to include dollar one, which means item one or variable one. Pass in a variable, and we're going to pass that variable into our play. So now, if we select an item and play it, it loads. We can also change it to any of our list. But it's a bit fiddly having to select this and then one every single time. When I pick an object or pick a sound, I want it to automatically run. We can do this as well. I'm going to add a push B to add a bang and attach this to the output on our first one. So instead of reading the file name, it's going to give us the number of the chosen item. But that's irrelevant. Every time a number goes into a bang message, it outputs the bang. So when I select something, it bangs. When I select something else, it bangs again. And that's what we're going to make use of. So we're going to pass this bang into our one which will then trigger one, which will play. So we pick something, it bangs, it plays. Now, I've also got a couple of really short samples in here. So what happens if I want to make some sort of loop? Well, we can pass that message in again. And using this similar style of open variable, we're gonna do loop variable. And this time attach a, a toggle to it. So it will output things like loop one, or loop zero, so loop yes or loop no. So now if we leave loop on, pick a file, it will play on a loop and loop will automatically stay set up until it's bound again because we've already passed in that message. And that's it. We've made a simple music player, our music loader, using a drop menu. To make it all a bit fancier, we can select the important things. So I'm gonna take my gain, my uh, easy DAC, I'm gonna select my loop button, my manual button, my pause and resume, and then my U menu and my drop menu, I'm going to right click them and add them to my presentation. And in presentation, is just a nice neat way of viewing everything without having all the ugly patching cards in view. Oh, I'm also going to add a message for this, so I'm going to add a comment with C and check to loop track. And everything will still work the same, so we can still pick a track. It'll still autoplay and it'll still loop even without being able to visualize that one, the SF play, it's all still running in the background.